did my topic on overcoming your fears. So uh, I'm starting with a quote by um, Queen Atapa, which is a musician and a professor, and she's also a professional as an author. And it says, uh, fear can be good when you're walking past an alley at night, or when you have a goal and you're fearful of obstacles. We often get trapped by our fears, but anyone who has said so before, and this is absolutely true, like in order to be successful and um, basically gain more um, advance in your own like uh, like life, you have to fail before, and then with that fail failure, uh, those failures will actually increase like your chances of basically your own motivation and um, your own self-esteem. So first, I'm gonna be talking about the different types of fears we face and throughout our lives, and why we should overcome our fears. Next, I will talk about the steps in overcoming our fears and what it and how it makes us a better uh, person. And then lastly, I will talk about uh, how music and other entertainment help us by providing encouragement to ourselves. So one of the most common fears is the fear of flying. And for me personally, it's uh, my fear for needles. And when it comes to fear of flying, it's also, um, people could call it aerophobia. And for the fear of injections, um, it is also known as tri Phonophobia. So in my case, um, my fear is, well, of my fear of needles, because when I was younger, when I was like six years old, uh, I was taken to the doctor and I was gonna get like in total like around eight injections. And well, in my experience, they grabbed me and then uh, they basically, well, the, it was one nurse and I like, once they started like the, how sharp the needle was, I didn't let myself because um, for me, the pointing, like the main point, it was really hard for me. So in order for me like to get injected and get out of the scenes, uh, other doctors had to come into my room, well, into the nursing room, and they basically hold me in order to get injected. Uh, uh, one of the most common fears is the fear of public speaking, uh, which is also known as glossophobia. So there's a 70 Four percent of people suffer from speech anxiety, and for males, there's like around 72 percent of males that also suffer from speech anxiety. While when compared to women, there's a total of 75 percent of women who suffer from speech anxiety. And I bet like most of you are like nervous when you guys come up here and present in front of the whole class. Like for me, I'm personally nervous when I come here. But one of my main like focus is usually like um, once I'm up here, like I'm gonna present and then later I'm gonna like basically be over it. So next I'll be talking about ways in order to overcome your own fear. So uh, there's different ways in order to overcome your fear. And um, for me, one of the ways is taking basically baby steps, which means that when all of us, when we were born and we're younger and we're little kids, we first don't know how to walk. So in it takes us like many of us take us like four years in order to learn how to walk or less than that and we basically learn through different steps by like by like slowly improving. So I put like a diagram in which first you could like set a goal, then you make a plan and then you get to work to it and then you stick to the plan and then later you actually reach your goal. So and then an example is um, uh, according to an article, Phobias and Fear, Barbara worked as a job as a flight attendant, and her one of her fears is aerophobia, which is her fear of flying. But in her case, she has to overcome her fear because um, in her family, uh, she's like the only one working, and she needs to help support her family and with her own um, with the own like um, economic economically, and then also. Um, And there's some cases of where, uh, according to Dr. Hamilton, a medical doctor with his doctor of public uh, journal in 1965, explains that people who suffer from trypophobia are afraid because we basically, our mind triggers our body to be afraid once the needle comes. So we basically kind of like, we tell our body to be afraid of needles. 
Like, it's not we're actually afraid of the pain. It's basically us telling our body to resist it. Uh, lastly, I will be talking about music and the lyrics. So many of us have different artists and different um, singers that we both like. And for me, these are like the most like serious main songs I usually hear in order to uh, motivate me and like don't be afraid when I'm like, actually afraid. So it's a way for you to get encouraged. And uh, well, the first one is it's by Kelly Clarkson, which is basically what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And uh, one of my favorite artists is usually like Eminem, and most like everybody knows like I'm not afraid. So basically, it's here I take, and I just can't keep living this way. So starting today, I'm breaking out of this cage. So basically, you don't have to be afraid of your own fears. Like your fears should be kept to inside. So what I recommend for everybody to do is to break from your own fear and try to like. Um, like break the cage of your own fear. And well, lastly, well, I'm gonna conclude. So I first talk about the different types of fears. Next, I talk about how how to overcome your fears, and then lastly, I talk about the different types of fears. So uh, there's a picture. Fear has two meanings. One is forget everything and run, or face everything and write. And basically, the choice is yours to decide what you want to do.